girlfriend of seven years cheated on me with some vegan. My question is why? I posted this on Ask Reddit first. It appears as though that community is full of trolls. This is a long read and I am verbose but just hear me out. This is a throwaway simply because a lot of my friends and work associates use Reddit and have me added as a friend. The truth is I'm in my line of work weakness is intolerable and I'd be a laughing stock. I'm 32 years old. I met my girlfriend, we're calling her Joanne, 29 years old, on the 31st of December 2004 at a New Year's Eve party. For me, it was almost love at first sight. We only talked for an hour, but I couldn't get her out of my head for weeks. I was dating someone else at the time and the second week in January, I was still thinking about this relatively trivial conversation I'd had with Joanne. I told my current girlfriend of the time that things couldn't work out. I didn't know if I would see Joanne ever again, but I'd felt something in that one conversation I'd never felt before. It was an amicable split, I was honest and told her I liked her but didn't love her. I tried to track Joanne down through friends and the like. These were the days before Facebook and I never used MySpace. I finally got a hold of her number and when I rang she said she remembered me too. I asked her out on a date and we spent a lot of time together. Another guy in our social group fancied Joanne so we took it slow. We were very cryptic about how we felt and didn't even kiss until about a month of seeing each other. After that our relationship went off on a rocket and I'd never even dreamed of feeling that way before. We were inseparable and intolerable no doubt. We went everywhere together and she loved the things I did and I loved the things she did. I'd never met a girl that got into things like snowboarding and surfing so quickly and she loved it. I even took dance lessons and mastered the samba with her. It's not been all sunshine and lollipops. Though and I'll be the first to admit, we've had our problems like any other couple. We broken up once about three years ago, but wasn't apart for more than three months. We've lived both together and apart. Whatever happened, I thought I'd been the most reasonable, loving, caring boyfriend I could be. She got pregnant when we was about one year in and I stuck completely by her. She said she wanted it, that she couldn't abort it, and I said I'd be with her no matter what. When she miscarried I took weeks off work to be by her side. I told her that I was there for no matter what, always. When she was kicked out of home because her parents moved to Australia, I financially supported her until she got on her feet. These were tough times. It was hard for both of us but I felt we grew because of them. I felt that going through all this was something special. So I proposed on New Year's Eve last year after taking her to the place we first met, a bar with a rooftop balcony thing. I told her that we should see if it was open on the off chance before we went home at around 2 a.m. She agreed, but when we got there she noticed it wasn't a bar anymore. I already knew this beforehand, and through my contacts I got in touch with the music shop owner, and he let me use his roof. I took her up the fire escape and I had the whole roof almost exactly how it looked that that night, which included renting a huge fish tank and a bunch of Christmas lights. The whole thing set me back PS 600. There was a table in the middle with two glasses and a bottle of champagne. I got down on one knee and she cried and said yes. The last six months I've been working really hard. I'm in sales and we've had a potentially life-changing deal coming through that would make the company I'm with millions in the next 5-8 years. I haven't stopped working my off and I've told her it's going to be tough, but that I'm doing it for us. If I get it, I told her, we could have an absolute dream wedding. Well the last couple of months have been nail-biting, but I finally secured the deal and netted myself a huge bonus and job security for life. I was on cloud nine, so I bought Joanne and I some tickets to go away and celebrate. Yesterday my boss let me go home early because of my work, and I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to surprise her. I nipped in the flower shop and got her a bunch of white roses before slipping back home for a shower and to get out of my suit. I was driving in my white Merc to her house on the top of the world, work was brilliant, the weather was beautiful, I had the perfect surprise and I couldn't wait to tell her. Anyway when I arrived there was a SUV parked outside that I had seen before but couldn't place. The penny didn't even drop when the door was unnaturally locked. I unlocked it and called her name, there was some music playing and I didn't hear her reply. I figured she was in the shower, 
and fixed myself a glass of water and some water for the flowers. In the kitchen, there was some cheap wine and two glasses. Then I heard the bed banging. My heart sank and I pieced it all together. I used to think my heart sank was a metaphor, but I actually felt something drop inside my chest. It was like going on one of those bungee rides in theme parks. I almost dropped the glass. I walked to the stairs and at the bottom, there were these pair of ruined old leather boots covered in dirt. I was red with rage. I walked up the stairs and could hear him calling her A. I swung her bedroom door open. There she was getting in the, I you not. He was her in the. She leaped up instantly and before I knew it he had his pants on. I looked at him and recognized him. It was this guy that owns a vegan cafe near my place. We'd been a few times and he had a couple of parties she had been to with friends. He tried to explain himself, but I just told him to get the out right now. He left so quick he forget to take his cheap wine with him the, I couldn't believe it. She ran over to touch me, hug me, or something but I just threw her back down on the bed. I told her she disgusted me and I left. I went straight to my car and she followed my out pathetically asking me to hear her story. I told her not to call me and dropped my personal mobile out the window. I own a work one but it's blocked from anyone other than colleagues. I went home and got in the shower and just cried. I can't believe it. The more I think about the relationship the more I cry I thought about the miscarriage and cried, and then my proposal and cried, and the the first time I met her, and I cried even more. I've not been into work today. I called and told my boss everything. He's a great friend and on of three people who know. He's told me to have a holiday from work and that I've done more than enough in the last year. He told me to take a week and then see how I feel. She's been knocking on my door and calling my landline so. I plugged it out. My friend stopped by earlier after he heard what happened from my boss. A lot of my friends are worried. They haven't heard from me and can't get in contact because I dropped the phone. Anyway, Reddit. I know the standard advice. I'm not looking for that. Can someone just please tell me why? I loved her. I do love her. So much. I just wanted us to be happy and I had worked so hard for that. All that hard work, it wasn't for me. It was for us. How could she do this after she miscarried my baby and I paid for art studies when her parents off without a trace? I'm just confused. How could she betray me after everything we've been through? I don't understand it. What would make a girl that loves you, that said yes to marriage with you, that was gonna have your baby, that was with you for seven years, that called you pet names, that you would cuddle and make love to? What would she do it? With this broke this piece of that couldn't support a puppy. Edit. Some of you have given me advice to say take an SDD test. I've already booked one with my private physician for tomorrow. As far as what other action I've taken, I just bought a new mobile online and I have cancelled all debit payments on my card for her gym membership, business classes, and what not. I don't think I'm going to ask her why. I'm just angry now. I think the answer is obvious. She didn't care enough about me to have a bit of restraint. 